All right, you guys, great news. My buddy Fu, he got a car too. I think he got a 2010 Camry, low miles. It has like 90,000 miles on it or something. I got a TSX. We're gonna go ahead and wire the money over. Thankfully, you guys don't have to wait till tomorrow. You guys are about to see the car right about now. All right, guys, so here's the first look. Look at the chairs though. Still in pretty decent condition. It's not the best, but overall, um, the body is still straight, which is nice. Tags are updated until October, which is great. Scratch over here, which is not as bad as I expected. Let's go ahead and the rear bumper as well. Let's go ahead and check the fluids on this bad boy. Okay, this one still has life to it. So that's good. Coolant. Uh, I usually just check on the level right here if the car's already started up, warmed up in the morning. But since it's been sitting, it's low. Ooh, okay. We're just gonna fill it up once we get home. We're at the gas station real quick. All right, let me start up this bad boy. You can close it. So far, the car is warming up pretty nicely. Um, the RPM meter looks pretty consistent. It's not jumping around crazy and there's no check engine light. So hopefully this is a green light car. Green light as in passing small right away. It does have the Navi package as well, which is pretty, oh, it still works, which is pretty awesome very outdated but very cool for its time and then we also got you know just your your normal little window buttons here all right let's go find your other car where's it should be all right. this way. 610 turn left. turn left make a left out here yeah it's all the way down there okay because uh, last time we take a car 609 is all the way there so okay. look at all these nice cars guys nice cars this car overall is, seems like it's driving fine i mean we're not going that fast but Oh, okay. Change the second gear. I like it. I like it. I think overall this car is is decent. Six ten, right? Yeah. All right, we're gonna make it right here. All right. So we also got check it out the wheel lock and the spare, which is cool. I think it might be an original owner because the mats are still here. It has some nice Bristol tires on them. Alrighty, guys. Like I was saying earlier, I don't always buy green light cars or yellow light cars, even though there might it might seem a better way to be buying cars but usually the red light cars it doesn't attract as many frontline dealer buyers so uh, red light cars might need you know a couple more uh, maintenance than the other ones do but profit margins are a lot better here's the 10 camry that Fu just picked up it's a little rough but um let's see how it drives check the oil oh you bought a v6 <laughs> Alright, the reason why we made that little four cylinder, six cylinder joke is because isn't because six cylinders are bad. It's mainly because I dealt with a lot of six cylinder cameras in the past and uh, they have a lot of transmission problems. I'm not sure why, maybe they didn't build the transmission as sturdy, but uh, four cylinders has always been more reliable and more quicker turnover for me. And that's why I just made that joke earlier about who uh, buying a V6. <laughs> Alright, looks like it started up normal, fine. This guy didn't even check the oil or anything and he just freaking just went and started it. Now he's gonna come check the oil when the, when the engine's already on. Smart guy. Yep. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here we have a 2010 Camry with 94,000 miles. Give you guys a little look on the interior. So we got a little tear right here in the seat, but it's not that bad. All right, so I haven't driven it on the freeway yet, but so far on the local streets, it's driving pretty uh, okay, shifting to third and second nicely. I'm just waiting for that fourth and fifth. <laughs> Hopefully it'll all be good, but uh, I think overall we did okay on this, boys. We'll still be able to make some money off it, which is good. All right. Great news so far on the freeways, driving pretty smooth, nothing so crazy. It needs alignment, I kind of points to the right a little bit but nothing major right, so since we were on the way home this is Philip's dad over here we're just gonna stop by and do the small check real quick rear bumper most likely I'm gonna just leave it because this is a little bit excessive damage I mean for the year the miles for the car I'm just gonna leave it the trunk has scratches leave that as well um, but this one might be a little touch-up so we just got the smog done. We're gonna go ahead and clean up the engine bay, probably wash the outside a little bit. Good thing about silver cars is even though when it's dirty, it still pretty much looks the same as when you washed it. But the only thing is I'm gonna just clean up the engine bay, all the leaves and the debris. We're gonna go ahead and take some pictures, hopefully post it up, get rid of it by tomorrow, fingers crossed. But I'm gonna keep you guys all in check. So before I wash my engine bay, I usually check a couple of spots to make sure they're all tight. 
these uh fluid levels right here these caps you know you guys don't want to open this obviously just make sure everything is tight the transmission dipstick as well let's get to washing so the seller wanted four thousand for the car as you guys can see here the seller was toyota orange sold as is four thousand i got it for three which is a pretty they knocked off a thousand off and they had to pay the seller's fee as well so probably another 150 bucks for them probably so they only got 2800 bucks for this car right here all right even though it looks bad with all the smoke coming up trust me you guys essentially what we're doing we're just rinsing off the dirt that's on top but uh watch i'll show you guys let's go okay now we're just gonna let the car do its thing let the heat dry off the engine and we should be good All right, so we just got to my buddy Fu's house. We're gonna go ahead and just buff out these two headlights real quick. He's doing his at the moment. His just needs to be buffed out a little bit more. I'm actually, I'm gonna just to begin with the sanding process right here. So we have 2000 grit right here. We're gonna wet sand it. Let's get started. So here we have the headlights just uh, sanded down for about like, I don't know, two, three minutes on each side. I'll wait till Fu's done with that buffing machine. Then we're gonna go hit it with the compound and see if it will come out to, uh, come back to life. We'll see. All right, you guys, quick look on the aftermath after we uh, use the machine on it. So what I figured out is we don't have the correct pad. Uh, we have been using this compounder here, Mirror, Mirror Glaze, but I don't think this is correct. This is, I think this is for paint, but uh, we use it on the headlights anyways. But this is kind of, would you say, half-ass on the headlights. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures of it. We can get rid of it soon. If not, I'm going to go ahead and spend another day probably doing the headlights again. Alrighty guys, this has been the quickest sale so far. So this has been like, I think two days. Uh, it was like a day and a half, two days. Alrighty guys, uh, TSX was a quick sale. It only took us two days to get rid of the car. If you guys do want to join me at an auction, go ahead and message me on Instagram. I can only take one person per week at a time because I don't want it to fluctuate with my work schedule too much. But I'm more than welcome to bring you guys along with the ride with me. And if you guys have any questions or anything regarding with the car industry, I'll be more than happy to inform you guys in person because it's a lot easier for me than just texting everybody one by one. So go ahead and just message me on Instagram. Help a brother out by clicking that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.